Merry Christmas, guys! I'm sorry I can't be down there with you opening stockings and presents and talking about funny things, family stories uh, about when I'm usually running outside naked or peeing on people's shoulders. Terribly sorry I can't be there to enjoy all those lovely stories. I would like to say hello mom, hello dad, hello Brian, Carrie, Matt, Sheila, Sonia, and Jordan. Mom said that I couldn't open my stocking until 6.30. And according to my watch, it's almost 6.40, so I think I could open my stocking now. And I think it would be wonderful if I can share the memories and the moments I have of opening my stocking with you guys. Although I don't get to see your reactions to opening mom's stocking. That's okay. At least you get to see me doing it from my lovely man cave. Here's my stocking. I had it hanging up on my coat rack over there last night, or this morning, really, when I came in here, first thing I did was I hung it up. So it was nice to have some sort of Christmas decoration. The first thing I'm gonna pull out is this Christmas moose. At least, I think it's a moose. It's got a big fat nose. It could be a reindeer. He's quite adorable. He doesn't make any noises. I like his scarf, and I like his sweater, or it's more of a vest. Then I get this, it's a Metal Christmas ornament star birdhouse. I was really wondering what, what it was at first. There was something metal and rattling. I was just like, first thing that comes to my mind is a lamp? That's what I thought it was. I thought it was a lamp. It's not, although not many birds are gonna be living in this birdhouse anytime soon. Then I get this, he's like a dancing snowman. He's like Frosty the snowman without the corn cob pipe. And I don't think Frosty has a carrot nose. He's got a top hat, which is cool. I, I like it. I just dropped the start. I'm sorry, Mom. Next, we got a... What is this? Candy. Made from all natural ingredients. Soft licorice. Mmm. Yummy. It's fat-free and no preservatives, so it won't last very long. Ooh, no artificial uh, colors and no artificial flavors. I hope they're not lying to me. I can beat someone with it, or take a bite and try it before I decide I don't like it. Which I didn't say I didn't like it because I haven't tried it yet. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun with this. That's really neat. I'm gonna annoy people with that thing. I'm gonna... It looks like I got a jar. Nothing in it. Oh, except for dust and grass. I mean, I have to wash it out, but that's cool. I can put tea in it. Last summer, I was looking for jars like these to put my tea in to help it last long. I settled for mom's canning jars, which work uh, really well. Got a couple more things. A chocolate bar. Hmm. It's some sort of kind of chocolate bar. By the size of it, uh, I don't know. If it's dark chocolate, I'll be really happy because, Mom, if you didn't know that, I really like dark chocolate. Oh, it's dark chocolate. That's cool. Coco Love. I'll read the poem after I'm done going through this. I'm sure you guys are all reading each other your poems, and it's probably great fun. And I'm just too busy to go. Okay. I'm guessing, just by the feel of it, this is coffee. Maybe? <laughs> Alright. Main Street Mixes. Soups, dips, coffee, tea, and scones. It is coffee. It's uh, smart bean coffee. Coffee with a cause. A cause of giving me heart problems in the future because I drank so much coffee when I was younger. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's not go with that. I might scratch this out and just cut it out and you guys will just, boom, there'll be a jump and you'll be like, what just happened? Now I want to cut that out too. I just want to keep cutting out more and more seconds that I'm wasting. My coffee is called Hula Pie. It looks interesting. Uh, this, is third, this is the third kind of coffee I got for Christmas. I got two others from Stephanie. I'm looking forward to using my coffee bean grinder and making some coffee. Thank you, Mom. Thank you very much for all of this 
these lovely things. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. It should be interesting. I'm probably going to be so embarrassed. I'm going to hesitate forever about putting it up. But I'm going to put it up because I want you guys to uh, share the moments that I had while opening my stocking. But now the next thing is uh, there's a poem inside here. And I want to see. I, I want to know what it's going to say. I'm very curious. And I'm sure you guys are too. That looks delicious. Oh, wow. It's like little squares and I just spilt crumbs everywhere. This looks delicious, Mom. Thank you. Try a piece as it breaks and shatters. That was really good. I like that. Oh, wow. That's amazing. All right. I'm gonna finish chewing this and swallow. Before I read this poem, a fairly long poem. I really like this this packaging. This is really neat. It says coffee at the very top. I'm not sure if that's the title. It could be. I wouldn't be surprised. There are probably crazy people out there who write poems called coffee. To faint once more by looking on my bliss. I was distracted. Madly did I kiss. The wooing arms which held me and did give my eyes at once to death but twas to live. To take in, d in draughts in of life from the gold fount of kind and passionate looks to count and count. The moments by some greedy help that seemed a second self that each might be redeemed and plundered of its load of blessedness. Ah, desperate mortal, I even dared to press her very cheek against my croned lip. And at that moment, felt my body dip into a warmer air, a moment more, our feet were soft and flowers. There was store of newest joys upon that alp. Sometimes a scent of violets and blossoming limes loitered around us. Then of honey cells made delicate from all white flower bells. And once above the edges of our nest, an ark face peeped. And I read as I guessed. It was by John Keats. I think I've read his poems before in high school. It was very interesting. But halfway through, I thought about stopping reading. Like, it was getting pretty graphic there. I don't know if you guys paid attention. I think I messed up some words. Mom, thank you for uh, the stocking and everything in it. From the reindeer moose thing to the coffee. This is really awesome. I must say, this has probably been one of my best Christmases I've ever had. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.